Welcome to TechRazor with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to install PSQL command line on Windows machine so we can use PSQL to connect to our Postgres SQL instance that we have installed or created on GCP. Let's go ahead and take a look. First of all, it is very. Uh, I was trying to find if there is a direct download just for the PSQL command line utility, so you can simply download and uh, you know work start working on it. I couldn't really find direct download, so what I found uh, here, so I'm gonna share with you. So if you go to this website uh, here, Postgres.org, uh, download Windows, and here you're gonna end up on downloading the installer. Now you go right there and then from there you are downloading this Postgres version 14.5 and you go ahead and download this one. Once you download it is going to give you something like this. I'm going to open the window actually showing a folder. Okay here. So you have this program right here that you have downloaded. Now let me view and many my cons okay so here's uh, the program that it has downloaded this is executable now if I will uh, try to run this program what's gonna happen is gonna give me option to run multiple components such as Postgres uh, uh, server and uh, then uh, you have uh, uh, command line utilities and uh, some uh, P, uh, PG admin as well uh. so I'm going to only select uh, the command line uh, utilities um. so that's gonna install our PSQL um. I'm gonna right click here run as admin so notice here I'm not actually really installing the entire Postgres server but I will be only installing uh, the utilities uh, from this uh, in, uh, install program. So once I start I will show you. Okay you are going to select next and here is our install directory that's fine we can have this one as it is. Um, I'm going to go ahead and actually open this uh, directory here so you can see what's uh, under this directory. Right now there is no directory here so that's why we got error. So I'm going to select this directory hit next uh, and here uh, we are getting all those uh, different options. Uh. So see right there command line tools so you have uh, right there and then uh, uh, command line tools uh, is uh, I, uh, that's what I'm gonna do so it is already selected I can't unselect this one and uh, but uh, the other ones I can select and unselect so I'm gonna unselect all of those leave the command line tools um, hit next uh, and then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hit install uh, so it is installing that uh, command line uh, programs uh. now if I will go ahead and open this uh, directory again uh, uh, we should have this uh, folder created and then uh, all the uh, install uh, P PSQL should be here. See, remember uh, we have a uh, uh, vacuum uh, LO, we have a vacuum DB, we have a, a reindex DB, and then uh, there is a PSQL right there. That's what we would like to use. Um, now, um, let's see if this installation has completed. Awesome. So it is finished and uh, now we are all good to start uh, our PSQL. Now before we do that, uh, I need to connect to my uh, Google Postgres uh, instance. Uh, so I see here, right here that's the IP I will be using to connect to. Now one thing I have to do more here if I go to instance I have to make sure uh, I have uh, added the IP of my machine. Um, so if I go to the uh, right here in the let's say go to the edit here and then I'm going to show you and uh, here in the connections uh, so you can see right there uh, uh, you have to go select public IP and then uh, add the IP from where you would like to connect uh, in my case uh, I'm uh, on uh, what is my IP and that's my IP so I will be connecting from a local machine and that's why I have added that um, you can add another uh, network uh, if you would like to connect from uh, some other IP so that's good we are fine with that we already have added that that's important point now what we are gonna do uh, we are, you could have actually gone directly not edit uh, you can have gone to the connections and that would show you the same information um, so uh, that's what it is right there okay so you can add network uh, the IPs from which you would like to connect uh, uh, that's cool and uh, the last uh, thing what we are going to do we are going to uh, build our connection string something like that um, so that's my IP uh, if I go to the overview and uh, this is the IP of my Postgres uh, SQL uh, on GCP I'm going to copy this IP go to this uh, notepad and uh, here this is going to be my PSQL statement uh, so you will say PSQL then you say SSLL mode disable so 
uh, uh, SSL is uh, disabled in my case and uh, the DB name I'm going to connect is Postgres you know and then username is also Postgres uh, if you have different name you can use it and uh, then host address is going to be your IP here so you're gonna paste the IP right there huh? now that's the statement we'll use huh? so let me show you uh, database name and username and all that if I go to users here and uh, you see that uh, I have a user here called the Postgres um, if I go to databases here I have Postgres database uh, that's also created def by default uh, when I created the instance uh, so that's there as well um, now in the connections uh, if you go further here and go to security and you will see that uh, SSL is not enabled so it means it's disabled that's why I have put that in the notepad right there in this statement okay so we are all good here we have added our IP to the uh, whitelisting IPs and uh, in, or in the network and now we should be good to go uh, also remember that our uh, PS, PS, uh, PSQL is in this uh, bin folder so I'm gonna go ahead and open the CMD first and once I open the CMD I'm going to navigate to this folder okay so I am not setting any variables or all that so I, that's why I'm navigating directly to this uh, folder so I'm going to say CD paste bin and now I'm in this directory if I will say DIR I will get all those uh, uh, list of uh, those uh, programs available in this directory and here is the one PSQL now if I will go and say CLS and uh, clear the screen now I already have my C written uh, uh, statement here so I can simply take this and then paste it here so you see that PSQL then uh, double quotes around it double quotes and then then you have SSL mode disable DB name Postgres, username Postgres, and host address is your public IP of your Postgres instance. Hit enter and it's going to ask you the password. So now you provide the password of your GCP Postgres instance. Now it's all done and now I can put backslash L. It's going to give me the list of the databases. And you can see that uh, uh, they are Postgres, there's a template 01, template 01, template 0, template 1, and test database right there. Now there is a cloud uh, SQL admin, these are just uh, the other uh, system databases and all that there, you know. Okay, so that's cool. What we can do, we can create another database from here. So I will say create database for, uh, name PSQL test. Okay, so I hit enter and now. I can go back to the my Google Cloud instance go to databases here and I should see another database created so let's refresh okay I'm not seeing any database created here that's cool <laughs> so I think there is some mistake I'm doing here so now there was a, this uh, terminator I have to put and then hit enter and now database is created so if I go back to the databases now, after uh, clicking somewhere else here, so you see that the uh, PSQL test database has been created here. That's great. Now, if I want to go ahead and create a table and all those kind of things, I can do it. So backslash C, and if I can uh, go to the test database. So now I went to the test, and now you can see that I'm in the test. Uh, if I will do CLS say here, I don't know if the CLS will work here or no. No, it doesn't really work. Anyways, so I can just scroll it down and now I can say that create table, my table, and I send ID integer. So hit enter. So it's in, uh, ah, okay. So create table. Now table is created and backslash DT will give us uh, the list of the tables. Uh, and you can see that my table is created right there okay so this is how you will connect uh, to your GCP uh, Postgres uh, SQL instance uh, from uh, your uh, online uh, PSQL uh, um, utility, command line utility so uh, you have the statement already there I'm uh, gonna do one thing I'm gonna put this uh, um, on the in the description and uh, you can simply take from there and just uh, you know use it change the IP of your uh, Postgres SQL instance here and uh, you will be good to go also, I will uh, put the link for the download and uh, then you will be able to download and only install uh, the uh, command line tools. You don't need to install all that. 
okay okay great thank you very much for watching please subscribe my channel and i will see you guys in the next video